welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Yasmin, if you haven't been here before. I'm gonna be showing you guys today how I make my Juby Gems. You guys can look more on Instagram, at Juby Gems, if you wanna see what I'm talking about. My personal page is yaz.mari. Feel free to like, comment, or subscribe. And let's just get started, let's just jump into it. I'm gonna take you right now to show you exactly how I make a Juby Gem. First things first, make sure you guys have your gloves. Then, I'm gonna use these cups to measure out my epoxy resin. This is the silicone rubber that I'm gonna be using to make necklaces. Sorry about the mess, guys. I know it's pretty messy. Then, make sure you have a mask, right? We wanna get that filtration going, easy breathing. And these are the epoxies that I'm using. It's Amazing Clear Cast from Joann's, actually. These are old bottles. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and measure out one ounce of the A bottle and another ounce of the B bottle. Then make sure you mix for at least three minutes, guys. Sometimes if you mix too fast, like I kinda am, you can get bubbles. There are ways to get rid of it, but for what I'm doing, I don't think I'll have too many problems with bubbles because it's such a small sized area that I'm working with. I'm going to use what I've already measured out and these wonderful colors, and I'm gonna make three separate epoxy ones. I also have all these other cool things that I can use to make it more interesting. Um, some hieroglyphic, I think it's what it's called, <laughs> glitter. That is gonna be super fun. Um, some shells, cracked shells, and a bunch of other things. But you guys can build that over time if you're really interested in continuing with this. So we'll just go ahead and measure them out right now in our little containers. And I'm gonna save the rest of the clear epoxy for later because we're gonna have some fun with it. And then we have different colors of purples and yellows and pinks, kind of pinkish, reddish. I just thought these are fun colors and that's what Juby Gems is all about. So make sure you mix them all really well. You can even see some bubbles popping up on their own. Now we're gonna take this silicone mat area thing thingy that I have and we're gonna start with our exciting jewelry making. We can do all sorts of designs. It's really whatever your heart desires at this point. I know I say that a lot, but this is like where it really matters. <laughs> whatever you wanna do, I added a little bit of clear epoxy, like I said previously, and that creates its own design. In the end, the resin goes wherever it wants really, but it's fun to mess around and try different designs like this right here. And then tidy up, of course when you can it'll help a lot in the end and I of course I had to add my hieroglyphic hieroglyphic is the word I think hieroglyphic stars and then when I had pretty much done all that I could in the necklace area I went ahead and did this earring silicone molds I practically used everything that I had left <laughs> so all of the yellows and the pinks and the purples and now we wait 24 hours 24 hours later. All right, so we finally finished. They're all super dry. You just gotta pop them out, and it is super satisfying, by the way. <laughs> and after that, you basically just check on them and see if they have any things that look weird or that need fixing. Here are the tools that I'm gonna use to make my attachment for the jewelry pieces. Cut them out to your specified size, whatever size you're looking for. This is just the kind of way I do it. I absolutely love the round tipped because it's just easier to mold it the way you want it to, but everybody has their own style, like I said. Just find what works for you. And there you go, that's how it looks in the end. Now, to continue, we are gonna be attaching it to some chains and other things of that sort. Sometimes it's the hole is not big enough for it to fit and I have to adjust it. And these are the end products.
thanks guys so much for watching i hope you learned something and i hope this inspired you just so you know i am doing a giveaway of these juby gems doing one a month so make sure you check out my past videos and you also inbox me on my instagram with one beautiful photo of anything anywhere and i'll enter you into a juby gem giveaway